Well, here's the second part of the West Mill Turn, the local train from Kingsport to West Mill, now heading back to Kingsport, where it will serve local uh, industries that have trailing sidings in that direction. The first one is the Canton Box Company, shown here. Canton Box didn't used to be rail served, but the addition of a new short spur makes that possible. Penn Central Boxcar being picked up by the local. Back in Kingsport, uh, local industries are awaiting service by the turn. Boom's Ready Mix uh, has been condensed a little bit to make room for another new business called the Reynolds Beverage Distributors. West Mill Turn pauses while a Kingsport and Western Freight slowly rolls by, headed by a freshly painted F7A and B Consist. Slowly rolling to a stop and blocking Ulster Avenue, this train is going to be waiting for another Kingsport and Western Freight coming in the other direction. The KPNW shares trackage rights with Penn Central here so that it can access its Fulton Avenue yard, which is about a mile away from the Penn Central Williams yard. So it's not unusual to see meets between two Kingsport and Western trains or a Kingsport and Western train and a Penn Central train. Here the Kingsport and Western train rolls by with a pair of F7As that have seen a few more miles and their blue and orange paint scheme is a bit faded. KP&W show over, the turn gets back to work. I didn't film all of the back and forth moves of the locomotive through this switchback because it got kind of monotonous. 
When I designed the layout 20 years ago, I wasn't that much into operations, but now that I am, I want to change this into a crossover to make it more efficient and realistic. Well, the train has now reached KP Steel and we'll be doing some pickups there. Uh, the first thing it's going to do is uh, cut from the caboose and then pull forward. The train is backing into KP Steel's holding yard where it's going to pick up a couple of empty gondolas. The train will back up again and grab that empty Pennsylvania hopper and the cars behind it, a box car and two gondolas loaded with steel pipe. Kingsport and Western RDC rolls by while the West Mill turn rolls back and grabs the rest of the cars from KP Steel's holding yard. Reclaiming the caboose, the train is ready to pull forward and roll into Williams Yard. Well, that concludes the adventures of the West Mill turn. Thanks for watching.